Praise the Lord. Uh, it was been nice just learning about what we became the day we received Jesus Christ, the Lord. Today I want to handle something that's going to be our next series. And all these things, if you are very careful, they are very related. And the reason why we are, I'm handling these things consistently is because there is a serious need in the body of Jesus Christ. Very, very serious need in the body of Jesus Christ. Because we have very, very ignorant believers. We don't know anything about, we, we, you know, like many people, when they give their life to Jesus Christ, it just ends at where we say, I'm born again, praise the Lord, my name is so and so, I'm born again, I love Jesus as Lord and Savior, and that is it. But we must know that the day we gave our lives to Jesus Christ the Lord, things changed. There was a transformation. And you see, that transformation and, that, and the privileges that you entered in and the qualification and what this salvation qualified you to access is so huge. But the enemy has kept us very ignorant because we are, we, we are very much interested in going to church just to sing, to dance. Nothing wrong with that and get some short message somewhere. That's nothing wrong with that. But by so doing, we are denying ourselves the, some of the most powerful truths that will enable us to live a victorious life. So I want to begin a new series today. We call it Identification with Christ. Now, upon giving your life to Jesus Christ, and you see, particularly today, I was talking to people. You know, we had a, we have had a leadership meeting, and men, I have never had such a huge leadership meeting like what we have had in the church from Monday. Imagine a seven-day leadership training meeting, and it ended up with many people receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And as we were teaching this thing. One of the things that I, you know, I have seen the Lord really bring out is for us to know who we are in Christ. What, what being born again has done in our lives. We have been identified with Christ. Now, tomorrow, uh, or uh, not tomorrow, but today, we are actually going to baptize people. And water baptism is a very serious sign of identification with Christ. And I believe one of the reasons why the devil has fought baptism, that is why we have got so many fashions of baptism, yet the baptism of Jesus is so very clear he was baptized in water. How we have created so many other forms of baptism I, I don't know where they come from. And I, I can tell you the reason why we have got so many, so many counterfeit forms of baptisms is because the devil does not want the true message of identification to come out. I want to show, let, let me just today share about like what happens when we get baptized, when we go for baptism. Just by standing in the water of baptism, you are declaring the death of Jesus Christ. You are declaring that Jesus died just by standing in the water. You are declaring that Jesus died and you are also declaring that I have died with Jesus. What does that mean? You can imagine I have died with Jesus. There is this preposition with Jesus Buried with him in baptism. You have been buried with him. Now, as you get buried in water, you are declaring not only that Jesus died and was buried, but you are also saying, I died with him 
and I was buried with him. And when you, ra you are raised from the water, you are declaring that Jesus rose, rose from the dead, but I'm also, that I also rose with Jesus Christ. So you can say with the Apostle Paul, it is no longer I who liveth, but Christ liveth in me. You know, when you realize that you died with Jesus, you will never walk around with self-condemnation over your past sins that you repented. The sins that were taken away from your life the day you accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. There are so many believers who walk around under condemnation. This will never be on your life, I'm telling you. If you now, if do, I have a question. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross? If you believe so, you must also believe that you died with him. The old you died together with Christ on the cross. Do you believe that he was buried? I, yes. If you, he was buried, therefore you were also buried with him. That's why we're saying you, were, uh, you have... you were identified with him in the burial and the resurrection. Do you know why the early church was persecuted? Why baptism became a very serious thing? Because baptism, one of the reasons why the early church was persecuted was baptism. Because in baptism, you are declaring the death, the burial, and resurrection and glorification of Jesus Christ. And that is why people died just because they were baptized. Because baptism is an outward declaration of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if you believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus Christ, that, he, that he, God raised him from the dead, and confess with your tongue that Jesus is Lord, what will happen? You will be saved. So if you are saved, you have been identified. You have identification with Jesus Christ. Identification simply means our complete union with him in his substitutionary sacrifice he was a substitute but the fact but everything he went through we went through with him when paul says that i died with christ that is what he means his that is what it means he identifies that is why there is preposition with christ in Christ with Christ in Christ it is identification those prepositions you know denote um, identification and we need to understand that I am crucified with Jesus I was crucified with Jesus now to and the world has been crucified to me and I'm crucified to the world. That's why the world doesn't understand me. That's why the world fights me. Because I'm crucified to them. Water baptism to the Pharisees and Sadducees was an insult. Because you are saying Jesus is the reason. And they didn't want anyone. Do you remember that when Jesus rose from the dead, they bribed the, the soldiers, to say that when we were asleep, Peter came and, 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 and took his body. So resurrection is one of the, the message of resurrection, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ was actually the main reason why the early church went through persecution. And I think that is why the devil now tried to mess up baptism by bringing so many versions of baptism that have got nothing to do with the actual simple baptism. 
Jesus was baptized in River Jordan. And you have got to be baptized in water to identify yourself with your Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you and I give you praise and glory for because of the message of identification with Christ. Our complete union with him in his substitutionary work that he did on the cross of Calvary. I pray that Lord, you stir up the hearts of my dear brothers and sisters to really understand the mystery of identification with Christ Jesus the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment. Click on the subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.